Good day to you all. Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Chris back with another video for you guys. Today I'm on a 2009 Honda Pilot EXL. Has the VCM variable control variable cylinder management system so i'm getting ready to put a muzzler on this guy reason why i'm going to do so um because i'm having some stumbles in the engine and i don't really care for the vcm far as the, pil the piston shutting off at certain times not don't really like that the car has some stumbles in it when until you press the gas as soon as the eco light comes back on it starts to have like a little vibration hum to it so basically the vcm deactivates certain cylinders <clears throat> excuse me to control or give you better gas mileage so i just wanted to show the process on how to remove that um well how to add it so um it says to at least have your vehicle sitting for at least an hour or longer and it's going to come in a package with well it might come like this but it's going to come with some resistors and stuff i actually labeled mine vcm muzzle so in case i sold this vehicle and they didn't like it they can take it back off but you're gonna you don't have to but i'm going to remove this just move it out the way you got two pop pins one here and one here so i'm going to remove these guys so we can so you guys can see all right so i'm just going to sit these out the way sometimes they separate and if so just make sure you got them counted for same thing this part right here pop this one up and up underneath as well and let's get the whole piece out sometimes they separate okay so we'll just put those back in as they came out we're gonna rotate this back this way and it might come all the way out which is okay you can just pop it back in or you can just lift it up and out the way all right so what you have to do is you can also remove your engine cover as well to help you see a little better and you don't have to but let's just do so for you guys um, that's where your flathead screwdriver comes in the aspect you got a twist spot here twist it that way going vertical same thing with the other side this is for those who don't know and like i said i'm changing this because of that specific reason and it comes with resist, uh, uh, different uh, resistors. It says to start off with the 82 ohm resistor. And yeah, if that doesn't work out correctly, then move up to the 100 ohm. But let's go ahead and pop this up. And out and up and over. All right, so after that's out the way, move the camera for a minute. This is where the muzzler is. This wire here is where you're going to have to disconnect it and add your muzzle, okay, your muzzler. So um, let me get some light over here. And we're going right there. That dude right there, okay. So we're going to squeeze it, pull it up and out. Uh, you got to come down and see me do that. And there we go. All right, so that is your coolant hose that's right there. So that's where you're supposed to do the job. So, I want you to take your muzzler, and if you can, if you want, you can label yours as well. And you're gonna take your female connector and connect it in. Okay, so this in here. And let's go do it. And we're going right in on top. It's gonna be a push connector on the side. So let's go ahead and pop it in. Get my hand in there. Let me uh, set up because you're not going to be able to see me do it. And let's move it right here. See, maybe you can see me do it. Maybe, maybe not. But I would like to help many people as possible do this, so hopefully it's visible. And let's get this connected. But yep, it's a little tight right here, but you should be able to get to it. This is already out the way. Let's check it. Make sure we're good. Yep, we're good. We're gonna connect. So just struggling getting this one on because of the position. Let's try it over here. There we go. It should have came from this side in the first place. Alright, so we got that one there. Let's go ahead and connect this here. All right, so now it is installed. And I'm gonna try to find a place to zip tie this out of the way. Um, if you have anybody working on it, working on this, if yours is not labeled, let them know. 
that way the harness and everything is protected and i'm thinking i'm going to just mount it no I can't mount it there i'm gonna zip tie it somewhere out the way so like over here or something but not quite sure where i'm gonna zip tie it at but after you connect it there you go connect it there the original factory plug and just snaps in you see mine says vcm on it just because I wanted to be able to locate and identify it. So that's pretty much all you're gonna have to do. And then you're gonna monitor your vehicle um, and make sure they check, well, the eco light doesn't come back on. So you can have all your pistons running like they should. Six cylinders should be a six cylinder. So, yep. And it helps, they say, prevent sludge buildup and some other stuff as well. Just because the, the pistons aren't moving, so they're not getting function as much as the rest of the pistons. So hopefully this helps you out on the VCM muzzle or VCM muzzler. They also have some other ones in other styles. But yeah, hopefully this helps you out on your install, and I'll let you know in the future if it does what it's supposed to. So please go on a test drive after the VCM muzzle installation, and it hasn't come back on at Eco Light. So I figured I drive a little bit. And I went probably about a mile and a half, and I'm gonna go back a mile and a half back to the house. But you see, the eco light hasn't come on. My tire pressure lights on just so, just so I can uh, air them up. You see, the two front tires need some air. The temperature dropped a little bit over the night, so let's hit the gas. And I can tell already it's a major difference on takeoff and start. Well, let off the gas like you normally go into eco mode but off the gas eco light should come on it's not don't feel the stumbles in the engine anymore and it's the, the vehicle drives a lot smoother now but give it some gas let's get up to about 40 and once you let off the gas a little the eco light should come on still no eco light so i'm very happy with the product hopefully it lasts through time they have uh, many different sellers i believe i got mine for like 16 to 20 bucks um yeah it wasn't too expensive on amazon i'm gonna try to leave a description well i'll leave a photo to show what i actually purchased but yep no eco light anymore the vehicle's driving nice and smooth a lot better than it was because i thought there was something else wrong with the vehicle because of the stumbling and nope all six pistons are acting correctly so just wanted to do this video just to let you know that everything is working like it should and yeah i'm very happy i don't have that vibration anymore when i'm letting off the gas i thought i was having some issues with the transmission or something like that because of the stumbling but i know the transmission shifts and everything correctly but Yep, I don't have that vi that vibration feeling anymore. And pulling up to the light now, I'm almost through the house. And thanks for watching the channel. Please hit the thumbs up if this helps you change your VCM. Well, helps you install your VCM muzzler. So yeah, please hit the thumbs up guys and live life, love it. To the next video, I'm out. Okay, so I purchased this on Amazon. Has all your makes and models of Honda that it's compatible with and Acura as well, Odyssey, Ridgeline, Pilot, all those there. This is what'll be in the kit and this is how much I paid for it, okay? That's before tax, after tax. And you're probably gonna be about mm, 17 to 18 bucks, but yep, it's working, it's doing its job. So I just wanted to show this instead of showing the video. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you and I'm out.